Hello everybody and welcome back to chapter 9 A view to death Simon is lying next to the Lord of the Flies A storm is brewing but nothing moves except the flies on the pig's head and intent intestines Eventually Simon wakes from his fit still intent it seems on climbing the mountain his recent experience has left him weak and bloody. His eyes have left their usual luster. He staggers up the mountain against the gathering wind. Arriving at the top, he finds the fly-blown body of the parachute the parachutist. The suspension lines of the parachute create the impression that the body is moving. Simon examines. examines examines the condition of the rotting corpse and is violently sick he untangles the parachute lines so that the body is stilled and observing the new camp the boys have apparently made on the beach decides despite his frailty to return and tell them the news back at the bathing pool ralph is enjoying the water even piggy ventures in the heat is oppressive as the thunderclouds gather, giving Piggy a headache, which makes him yearn for cool rain. The other boys have gone to Jack's camp, they believe. Piggy and Ralph decide to visit it, to have some meat, and as Piggy says, make sure nothing happens. They can hear the boys well before they can see them. Jack is a focal point of the camp, surrounded by food and drink bedecked with leaves and daubed in paint. The babble of noise drops as the pair enters the camp. The silence is broken by laughter as two boys accidentally burn Piggy with hot meat. Jack dominates the whole group like an imperious monarch, offering meat, ordering drinks, extending an invitation to join his tribe. Jack and Ralph vie from leadership one pressing the value of meat the other the importance of shelters stalemate is broken as the rain starts by jack suggesting that the boys perform their dance at first roger plays the pig then amidst the rising frenzy and chanting he rejoice rejoins the hunters leaving the center of the circle empty the little ones start a circle of their own, but soon return to the big guns, making a large horseshoe shape. In the climax of chanting, dancing, thunder, and lightning, Simon emerges from the undergrowth with the news of the dead man on the hill. His words are ignored as the boys use him as the pig, the victim of their dance, and in a frenzy, he is killed. On the mountaintop, the now released parachute carries the body into sea. As the rain stops, the tide washes Simon's body out to sea as well. The stars in the night sky pick out strange luminous creatures which surround his body with light. And now is the common section. Simon is determined to reach the top of the mountain where, in the sense, the truth lies. Both literally and metaphorically. Simon frees the dead airman, who is then given the dignity of a burial at sea. Simon too is consigned to the sea after his murder. The news of a body on the hill provides a clear piece of Christian imagery. Simon can be viewed as a prophet and visionary with a parallel between the parachutist on the mountain and Christ on the hill at Calvary. The description of the halo of creatures which surround him with light as he flows out to sea is both poignant and significant. The fact that his news is ignored by the boys may also be worth some consideration. Images of light and dark, clear and opaque, are important throughout the book but are apparently strong in this chapter the description of jack's camp in which he has set 
apart as being superior is in marked contrast to the earlier assemblies with Ralph and the Conch. Ralph's meetings were good-natured, inefficient, and democratic. Jack's are severely business-like, authoritarian, and even dictatorial. Peggy again shows himself to be both parental and protective in his anxiety to visit Jack's camp to make sure nothing happens. What do you think he feared might occur? Could even Piggy have anticipated the outcome of the dance? Is it significant that, like Simon, Piggy has a headache just before these dramatic events happen? And that was the end of the comment section. Thank you very much for listening. The next chapter will be chapter 10, called The Shell and the Glasses. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.